In this video, we'll go over the Bluetooth app and I will describe all the different functions that it can do. Open up the app and you will be presented with the light edit section. The very first thing we want to do is we want to bind our Sabre to the app through Bluetooth. On the bottom of the screen, you will see a Bluetooth button, which is center. Click it. Make sure your Sabre is in standby mode, or it can be on, and you want to click scan. It will scan for devices. In the previous video, we renamed this lightsaber Judger, and it found it. So now I click the bind button, and then I press OK. Bluetooth connected. The lightsaber will make a sound saying it's connected, and you'll get a message on the screen. You'll know it's connected because you'll see that it's green right up there. I can now go back to the previous page. The top option is Light Edit Course. This is telling you how to somewhat create effects and how to understand it. It's not the greatest tutorial. Uh, that's why I feel that this video series is needed. We'll go back. New light. This will let us create new hum effects, out effects, in effects, lock up, drag, blaster, clash, force, stab, prions, pre-offs, and swing effects. In future videos, we are going to go through every single one of these, and I will teach you how to create all these new effects. Load local light. This will load different hum effects, out effects, in effects, and so forth, and will display them on the screen. So we're just going to choose all. These are all the default blaster clash drag hum effects that are installed on SM Pixel V4. And you can see the different lockup and out and prions. And you can even preview them. So what does the default hum look like? Hum 2 is steady, hum 1 is fire, hum 3 is pulse, and you can just have a look what all these different effects are. If we go to load device light, this is going to load the effect that is currently enabled on that sound font. So, for an example, Ahsoka. we'll load the Ahsoka sound font. If I click on hum, it's going to show me the hum effect for this particular sound font. I can go back and I can also load device light again and I can look at the out effect. So it'll show me the out effect for the Ahsoka sound font. And you can go ahead and you can do this for any of the effects that are uh, set up for Ahsoka or any other sound font. The next section is Remove Device Light. With SN Pixel V4, any custom changes that you do will create a file in the sound font folder. If you want to revert the lightsaber to look back at the config file, you would delete the effect. So now it's just going to look at the config file for the hum effect, which would be, again, uh, fire blade, steady, pulse, and so forth. Now if I click Load Device Light and choose Hum, it's just going to be the default. So don't be scared if you want to remove different effects. It'll always revert back to a default. And lastly is Palette. 
very straightforward. Here you can use your finger and drag around power off to get a very custom color. And you heard the saber just shut off because I haven't been doing anything with it. The next tab at the bottom is saber control. Here is where you can control uh, the on off. You can turn it on or off with Bluetooth. You can turn lock up on and drag and all the other stuff as well. And you can also quickly cycle through all your sound fonts. You can adjust your volume. You can set the default blade effect as well as, as the default pre-on or ignition, as well as the four different pre-off effects. Power on. Bluetooth connected. And because I already have the app open and I've already paired the Sabre, when I turn my Sabre back on, if the app is running, it'll automatically reconnect. Try to keep your Sabre within a close distance to your phone or tablet, usually three, four feet. So now if you listen here, I can cycle through my sound fonts. I can turn the Sabre on and off. And I can listen and see all the different effects by tapping those buttons. You can also just adjust your volume. Oops. And you can adjust your different steady blade styles. Fire blade. Rainbow. As well as ignition. Photon ignition. Stacked ignition. Join ignition. And pre-off effects as well. Which has the four pre-off installed. The next tab to the right of the Bluetooth icon is your parameter setting. This will allow you to set the length of the blade as well. If you have a cross guard, you can set the length of those blades, the delay. This is basically the config file just done in a neater, tidier fashion. You can adjust your class sensitivity. Um, so how sensitive it is when you when you bang it against another saber your twist so when you're using your gesture control for twisting the saber on and off uh, same thing with swing sensitivity and below you can see we have twist on and twist off turned on and we can also turn on pull push so stabbing would turn the saber off and then pulling the saber back towards yourself would turn the saber off and swing on is turned on so nice to have that easily available without having to put the micro SD card mm -hmm. into your computer. Main blade length, I have mine set to 116 because I'm using an 82 centimeter blade. What you're going to do is you're going to play with that number. You're going to keep sliding it down until you notice that the end of the blade is no longer lit. Then start going up until the blade is fully lit. The reason why you don't want to have it set too high is because when you're doing tip drag, it'll light up the tip of the blade, but if it thinks that the blade has 132 pixels or 144, you're not even going to see it. So that's why it's always good to start short and keep clicking the plus until it just lights up the tip and then stop. The last tab is more. You have Bond Saber, and Bond Saber takes you right to the same screen as the Bluetooth button. So I don't know why they'd have that there. Factory Reset will delete all user settings and custom light effects. So if you just want to put your Saber back to the way it was, you can just Factory Reset it. And lastly, About shows you what version of the app is running and your device ID device version and we can do an upgrade check. This is going to be able to upgrade firmware which is awesome. So my firmware is current so nothing to find. Along the top of the screen you will notice that it shows a lightsaber. This is going to show you previews of what the lightsaber is doing or when you're editing and creating new effects, it's going to display them at the top. Very handy, so you can see everything 
right there on your phone or tablet, and you'll know exactly how it's going to look before sending it to the saver. If you are having difficulties connecting your phone to your lightsaber, make sure that you have all the system updates installed on your phone. Make sure that the lightsaber app is up to date through the Google Play Store and try again. I know there are a few people out there who have difficulties connecting and there are some incompatibilities and honestly I don't know which phones are not working. I'm using an LG Velvet and it's been working fine. So hopefully for those who can't get it connected they will fix that in the future. Also they are working on an iOS version of this app and uh, when that releases I will let you guys know. That wraps up the Bluetooth overview of the lightsaber app for SM Pixel V4. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Make sure to click that like, hit subscribe, and tap that bell so you're up to date when I release any new videos. I've been your host, The Frugal Jedi, and I will see you in part three where we're going to create new home effects.